All right, guys. I'm out here today. I got some new toys in, and I got one of them outside. I got two of the ones you're about to see. There's only one out here. I have taken 10 shots. Now, I'm gonna brag before I show you because I took 10 shots at 20 yards and I did not miss a single shot. I'm saying I'm bragging because probably when I put the camera on it, I won't hit a single shot. But anyway, gonna get the magazine loaded up with JSB Kings. Um, they're 25.39 grain. So I'm gonna get this loaded up with 10 shots. And this is just a short video. Um, I bought these targets thinking that they would get me to adjusting to range on the fly. Uh, I guess with a gun, a, a, a powder burner, it might. And it might, it might with uh, with some of the big boards. This is a 25. It's my neutron star, my head side neutron star, as most of you've seen. Um, I'm now at 25 yards, maybe 26. But this target is one of the targets that you shoot. It flips, rolls, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, it's, it's continually going away from you at side, back, all kind of different ways just because of the way it's set up. And I was hoping that it would, that it would flip a little bit more with this gun so I could get more adaptive shooting at ranges on the fly. Maybe uh, one day do some, uh, do some uh, competition shooting. Anyway guys, I'm gonna take you down here, 25 yards, and I'm probably gonna have to adjust this stand because I kinda got it up a bit. But I, I don't really want you on this target like I do the others, and that's simply because even though it's not gonna move a whole lot, it's still gonna move, so I don't want it to move out of frame for you. So, let me get it down. Okay, probably zoom it. All right, anyway guys, 10 shots. Hang on and I'll bring the lid down. guys that's some uh, kind of heavy steel so you can kind of hear that smack down I see that I could zoom in just a little bit more 
And how about how about we go ahead and move this back to 30 yards? And I'm gonna load up again and bring the smack down on this little piece of metal. So all right. All right. Pause, you guys. I'm going to go load up 10 more, and then we'll do it again. All right, guys. I got 10 more loaded. I'm going to go on back up here and bring the lid down. Alright guys, I had one miss this time, and the miss was because I was trying to hit the corner when I smacked it to make it go that way, to try and make it go that way again. I hope you guys saw that. Anyway, we went 25 and 30 yards, and I think the, the little target rolled maybe maybe three and a half to five yards each time all right so we'll get that set up there get you guys adjusted Go. All right. I'm gonna kind of leave you zoomed in. I don't know if you get all of my big fat butt, but I'm gonna kind of leave you zoomed in. We'll talk about this target. So I got this target off of eBay. Two pieces with a little V, and it's screwed on on the V to hold them together. And the thing is, it's supposed to flip and flop, as you've seen, as you hit it. Now, I was trying to manipulate that by hitting the edges, trying to make it go the way I want it to go. I didn't do too well at that, because I think this is maybe just a little too heavy. But I loved the way the smack sound when these pellets was hitting that steel 
and I'm I'm back here. I still love the way that sound, man. It sounded like it was hitting hard. And from the look at the look of it, um, it was hitting hard, and you could tell I hit just about every one of the little paddles. About every one of them. I, I matter of fact, I did hit every one of them, even though this one just has one hit now sometimes when it was sitting at, at the 25 yards um, these were kind of covered up by grass to me but I could see a little bit of orange and knowing just about how big around they were I was seeing how good I was with the gun and taking a shot to hit the paddle now what I wasn't doing was trying to hit the zero uh, and the reason I wasn't trying to hit the zero or bullseye whichever you want to call it is because I wanted to try and manipulate the way that the target would roll. So if you hit it this way, it rolls this way. And then because of the angle, if you hit it this way, it rolls that way. So sometimes I was trying to manipulate it and make it go this way again, although I didn't have much luck at that. Anyway, guys, uh, this is a different kind of reactive target. I thought maybe you guys would like seeing this instead of the paper all the time. You get a good sound with these. And you, besides getting here that good smack, you get to see the target move and have to make adjustments. Even though the adjustments are not, are not big, you did see that one miss that, you know, when you're trying to manipulate something, it tends to happen. Otherwise, uh, just hitting this target That's a kill zone on just about anything um, So just being able to hit this and feeling comfortable enough to try to hit a specific piece of the target a specific side or bottom or lower or Here or there if you feel comfortable enough to do that and you're out to 50 yards doing that that you that you feel that you're gonna hit something this size even if even at 50 yards and yeah when I'm shooting for groups I want to hit the little I want to hit the bullseye the little black dot when I'm hunting that is more than sufficient so when I'm hunting there may be a target that I want to hit but let's say I'm shooting at a pig and I want to hit that pig right behind the ear to take his brain box out well, let's say that that pig is not standing quarter to me, but he's, you see what I'm saying? So, I want to try to be able to manipulate, put my shot where I want it to be. And then a target this size, you know, I've, I have shot 30 shots today. 29 have hit this. I missed one time. Now, I've only been out to 30 yards with it. But believe me, I would do this at 50 yards with this gun. So I am very, very comfortable shooting it. You will probably get to see more of this target with some different guns. Even this gun, because I told you guys I was comfortable at 50 yards with this gun, even though I haven't shot this target at 50 yards. I will probably be putting some more video up of that. Let me know if you'd like to see this gun um, and more videos. I do want to tell you guys, I have kind of slacked off of my videos, but uh, I think I said something before that we have been working a lot, dude. I'm on call today. Uh, I've been going on site a lot. So, sneak out here and make a quick video when I can. Being tired, and I mean, you know, 7.30 to 10.30. That's when you're on call, 7.30 to 10.30, man, that's what, uh, 15 hours? Plus, sometimes I'm on call and I'm traveling. So, I will get more videos out, hopefully. Well, I'll take it back, guys. It's gonna be a while because my on call, uh, which was supposed to end July the 31st, has now been stretched to August the 30th or August the 31st. I have surgery September the 9th on this arm uh, because of nerve damage. So 
I will probably be down. I'll try to get a few more videos out for you before the surgery, but I'll probably be down for a little while because I'm hoping to take a trip at the end of the year with uh, a friend of mine to go see another friend and bring you guys an amazing video this time. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see. Most of you guys know what kind of guns I have. Let me know if there's any gun you want to see more of. Uh, maybe if some certain target you'd like to see me shoot it with. Let me know the next time or down in the comments. Hey, Kenneth, I want to see this gun. Some of my guns I haven't made many videos of, but I think just about all you have seen. Maybe not the... Uh, I said I only had that one gamo that I sent back, but I have a gamo break barrel. Uh, I have a Crossman pistol. So there are some guns that you haven't seen, but most of the guns you have seen. If there is a particular gun you'd like to see, even at a particular distance now, if it's a BB gun, uh, it's probably going to be 10 to 15 yards max. I'm not going to take it way out there but if it's a pellet gun the most i'll probably shoot guys would be about 60 yards because this is the farthest target i have is 60 yards and then i would have to start getting in my driveway and backing up and shooting down that side not that i mind that i just don't have any targets set up over that way to shoot down now i can technically get out to 100 yards a little bit over 100 uh, but that puts me in the front of my yard to do that. So we might get a little bit further, maybe out to 75 because I'd probably be beside the house. But anything for 60, you know, I could probably get that done pretty quick without having to move stuff around, set up and all of that. So anyway, let me know, tell me a gun you'd like to see um, and I'll try to do it for you. I'm kind of running out of ideas to make videos um, most of the stuff that when I started I just wanted to to explain some things to people that I found out as I went along the way and I wanted to show the guns that I have because a lot of the guns that I wanted I didn't see videos of so I do have another surprise coming up for you guys I said I was gonna get the 30 cal I didn't get the 30 cal but I spent the money on something else Something I said I, I probably wouldn't have done, but got a, got a surprise for you guys coming up. Anyway, still more rambling there. Let me know, guys. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And until next time, stay safe, shoot straight.